I'm here with Paul Granillo, CEO of the Inland Empire Economic Partnership. Paul, this has been a pretty good event today. What were you hoping to accomplish? Well, what we were hoping to accomplish was to get people to talk to each other. Uh, the Inland Empire is 27,000 square miles, 4.2 million people, and what you had today were many of the, the most influential people coming together to start to understand the issues that face Riverside and San Bernardino counties uh, in a holistic way. And so that's why we, we focused on five different areas business, transportation and infrastructure, education, health and well-being. These are all really important pieces to the puzzle, but a lot of time we stay in our own silo and we don't really see how the ports of Los Angeles affect us. I mean, in Riverside and San Bernardino counties, 45 percent of all of the goods that go, that, that, that come uh, into the United States come through the ports of LA and, and San Pedro. And then they come through here and they go to the rest of the country. So we're impacted uh, when we get caught at a train crossing. We're impacted uh, by uh, our, our traffic on our freeways. Um, and yet that's an imp incredibly important part of our economy. So that's one example of what we were trying to get across today, to really help people to understand better uh, how we can better the quality of life in Riverside and San Bernardino counties. What are some, from today, what are some of the most toughest challenges that this region faces? Wow, um, you know, I, I haven't been to all the um, workshops, but I'll tell you one. We were in the first health care workshop. Uh, with the health care reform, 500,000 new people are going to come onto the rolls. That means that they're going to be able to get health care in Riverside and San Bernardino counties. That's in three years. We already have a deficit of uh, medical experts and doctors and, and, and practitioners. So we're, that's going to increase our deficit by 15,000 of, uh, of uh, health practitioners. So how does that affect you and me? The next time we go to make an appointment and we want to see the doctor, you know, of the next day, it's not going to happen. And so in the healthcare field, we need to really be working to get more doctors and nurses here and to do it soon. What role do you see IEP taking in, in helping to improve the quality of life? What leadership role do you see your, your organization taking? Sure. The Inland Empire Economic Partnership is a, a group of private businesses and public entities like, uh, like the universities and the cities. What we're trying to do is maximize the force of business and, and, the pub, and, and, and the public sector to come around these issues. And so what IEP wants to do is be a convener. We want to convene the major businesses of the Inland Empire to help uh, bring their clout um, to focus on these issues, working in conjunction with the public institutions. That's what IEP wants to be about, bettering the business climate and quality of life of the Inland Empire. What did you hope that the stakeholders today walked away with, what did you hope to see accomplished, and was it? Um, and wasn't? Was it? Oh, was it? I think so. Um, I think, are you leaving? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Keep I'm sorry. going, man. Great cut. <laughs> B-roll next. No, what I thought was, a, what I saw be accomplished today was something that just happened in this workshop, where... A, somebody from Kaiser was talking to the district attorney about two great programs, and they saw they, they saw it in each other's uh, uh, heard it in each other's words that this is a great opportunity for us to come together. And over and over to get, uh, today, I've heard that. Oh, you're doing that. Well, we're doing this. Well, we should be working together. And so I think that's very positive. Are you optimistic for the future of this region, and, and why? I'm very optimistic about the, the future of the, reason, of the region, and this summit is, is one reason why, because people care. The people that are here, they care, and they, they don't want us to be um, painted uh, all the time with a, as, a, as a place that's uh, not good to live. It's a great place to live, and we've got a lot going for us. And so I'm, I'm, I'm heartened that so many people have come together today to grapple with these issues, and then I think what's going to come out of here is uh, the beginning of some solutions to our issues.